Welcome to the video from digitallife.com. In this video we're going to be looking at more Windows Mixed Reality tips. And uh, here I am in my virtual office. You've got Word, Mobile, and Excel and a big browser up there. And uh, here's my uh, little note document with tips in that I'm working on. Okay, so I've already done a video on opening the desktop and um, how to control the desktop. Uh, you may have seen my video on uh, playing Xbox games. In this video, I'm going to look at some other tips. So the first thing I want to show you is how you can check your controller batteries. This is great. The, you know, if, you, if you look at the controllers physically, look underneath, you'll see there's no battery uh, indicator. Turn your controllers over in mixed reality, and there you can see the battery indicators underneath. So that's a really good example of sort of mixed Meech's actual reality. So that's not there if you're looking in real life. Turn them over. So that's my first tip. Um, I'm going to show you how we can watch 360 videos and look at photos. I'm going to look at uh, how we can watch movies and things and how we can uh, add objects into the cliff house and uh, bring on the on-screen keyboard. So, I'm not going to go in that order. Let's have a look at the on-screen keyboard. Well, this is straightforward. We're in a, a document with input fields. So that could be the browser. It could be uh, Excel or OneNote. When you click and select something, you get the on-screen keyboard. And the on-screen keyboard is really easy to use. You can really type fast on it. It's very simple, and um, I find it quite productive. You, you can also dictate into it, which is pretty good. Um, so there you go, on-screen keyboard. All right, what about adding objects in? We'll come back and look at uh, 360 videos towards the end of the video. Uh, we'll have a look at how we can add objects and how um, also I want to mention as well I've still not figured out how you can import objects from Paint 3D or how you pin a website so here's my website I've got a giant uh, Microsoft Edge screen but when I um, close this session come back later that'll just be back on the default Edge startup page so I know I could make it the startup page but I want to have Ed, say my website here and maybe you want to have uh, Gmail on another part of the house and so on. I haven't worked that out yet. So if you, anybody can let me know, Ian at digitallife.com at iSticks on Twitter. Right, let's go on and have a look now at how we can bring objects into our cliff house. I'm going to do that downstairs. Okay, here we are downstairs. You've got, you see, I've got a few objects in my house already. How have I got those in? Right, through the holograms app. Find this in the All Apps list. Press the Windows key and look All Apps and you find the holograms app. And there's a selection of different things you can bring in. Some of them are simple objects like from the cliff house. So you just click on that, place it there. I've got a nice chair there. Uh, actually, I want it so I can sit over there. Of course, you can't really sit on it, but you get the idea. A bit of decoration, you can have a plant and so on. There's also some fun ones that Microsoft have created, and they do various things. So here, let's have the, uh, the toaster. Um, what happens when we click on it there you go a bit of fun some of them do, do different things let's play space mate. up there in fact, let's put it up in the tree over there it would be nice if you could bring your own ones in but that's how you do it with that Okay, what did I say next? Well, let's have a look at movies and videos, that kind of thing. Okay, so I'm down here in my media room now to take a look at how we can view movies and videos and photos. So, this is a Photos app, pretty straightforward, but what's even more fun is the video, some of the video apps available. So I'll come down to my media room. So, film and TV, often called movie and TV, depending on your uh, region. This is the app that comes from Microsoft and it's got a lot of video content in there. So we've got trailers in there. There's a lot of 360 videos in there, which are, which are pretty cool as well. So you can watch those and that they take you into immersive mode when you watch that. So as I'm, rather than just using the big screen, when you go into a 360 mode, you go full immersive. And I'll quickly show you what I mean. Okay, so we're in immersive mode now. So that's a really nice experience, but you can also um, buy content and watch it through here and you can view your own videos through there. Another app that you can use, 
and this is a paid app I've got a full review of this so go on the digitallifestyle.com or on our YouTube channel and have a look but this is Cyberlink's power media player and with this you can watch 3D and 360 videos look for the little icon in the corner those are showing 360 some show 3D like that one so it's a different kind of experience but they're, they're really good and they're immersive like the one you've just seen there uh, and these are coming from YouTube as well. So this is the only app that I know of that will play 3D or 360 videos from YouTube. It'll also play your own videos, 3D or 360 or just normal ones and your own photos as well. So it's a good app. It's £30 so it's not cheap. Check out my full review on the digitallifestyle.com. But it's a great way of watching movies and you can just use it as a straight video player as well. And of course there are other media apps as well. Over here I've got... Um, Netflix so um, I can uh, watch Netflix movies on here they're not fully immersive they're kind of um, you watch them like a giant theatre room so here I can watch the IT crowd you see I've got this giant screen that I can have as my movie theatre and I can move these wherever I want to uh, another example might be uh, the old 4 app from Channel 4 and uh, I've got that one here which I can just bring forward like that so I can watch Channel 4 videos and movies uh, TV shows on there as well all from the comfort of my virtual sofa and if you want even a, diff a slightly different movie experience uh, and you're watching a movie you can hit the button over here get rid of the walls and get your complete data and I can bring that out like that and have a giant uh, cinema experience. So that's watching movies and videos on Windows Mixed Reality. So that's some of the, my tips I picked up along the way. So if you go on our YouTube channel you'll see some more detailed videos on opening the desktop and how you can play Xbox games on Mixed Reality. I've also got a full review of the Cyberlink mo uh, video player that works with Mixed Reality as well. If you've got any more tips let me know in at digitallifestyle.com or hit me on Twitter at iFixon. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.